What's up guys? So uh, today I'm going to be trying something a little different with the car. Uh, I, I had an autocross last week and it was a two-day event. It was a really good event. I ended up winning my class and I got a uh, fifth overall in raw times. The only issue I'm having right now uh, is in-cabin temperatures. Now this car is completely stripped. There's nothing besides some seats on the interior. I mean, it's got no heater core, it's got no AC blower, it's got, it's got nothing in it. So the in-cabin temps during the winter time were okay, because it actually kind of kept me kind of warm. Uh, I'm not sure if you all have been in a, a strip Miata around the transmission tunnel. It gets extremely hot. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to uh, make my own shift boot out of some leather I picked up. There's a local uh, leather distributor we have here called Tandy Leather. I think it might be a chain you might have in your city. Uh, and you can pick up the little packets of leather. They're cheap. I think I paid like four bucks for this stuff And it'll be more than enough that I need to actually uh, build this shift boot I've never done anything out of leather before, you know, I've worked with some like a little bit of woodworking uh, Quite a bit of like metal patch and you know, just some light metal work So I'm, I'm kind of excited about getting this going uh it kind of fits with the theme of the car as as far as it being like a complete diy setup from i mean i've diy'd everything that i can on this thing and bought parts that other people have like made uh diy like i've got some um sulfurical ball joints uh or or bearings i guess in the rear knuckles that someone had made on me out of turbo they're pretty cool um they're they're just i don't have a lathe so i can't do that stuff uh but what i plan to do with this is i've got um some brass rivets that I picked up also. I think all this cost me like 12 bucks over there. It was like, uh, uh, this is way more rivets than I'll need. So I might just put a bunch in and look kind of cool. And then I bought a little brass punch, or well, it's a punch, but made for these brass rivets. Uh, and uh, hopefully it keeps in cabin temperatures a little bit further down, at least the hot air from blowing up out of there, right where I shift, you know, right in the transmission tunnel. Later on, I'll probably do some sort of um, like a, a adhesive heat resistant pad along the tunnel so that way my leg stops getting singed whenever I'm kind of supporting myself. Although my Kirky keeps me in, in place pretty well but sometimes I brush up against it and it, it hurts pretty bad. So we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> Alright so what I'm going to try first <clears throat> is just using some tape. Getting this thing no, actually, maybe I should think about how I'm going to mount this thing in. Maybe I should put it, I probably should put it up underneath this. So that way it retains some form of, of seal where the air won't seep or just blow up into it, I guess, and balloon it out. I'm not really sure how strong this leather is. It's, it seems all right. Hmm, how much room have I got? Got pretty good room. I'll have to do something with my wide band. Yeah, let's give that a shot.
template didn't work out too well, uh, but I think it's enough of a rough guesstimate to where I can cut it out of some uh, cloth and give that a shot. I've got some old, old t-shirts and things that I use uh, just for like this consumable material pretty much. So here we are about halfway done. Um, I went ahead and took out that piece I had made that was uh, the shield over it so that way I have a template. It's uh, pretty rough. I still got a lot more rivets to go in there. It's uh, pretty rough. I'll probably stain it as well since it's already getting so mucky. Uh, I've got some um, wood stain. I'm not really sure if that's going to work or not but we're going to give that a shot because I've really got nothing to lose here. But other than that, it's, uh, it hopefully turned out pretty well. It seems to fit pretty good, and uh, it'll keep the heat off me, hopefully when it wears in a bit. This is pretty thick leather for this sort of application, I feel. Uh, looking, I've got a Subaru, and uh, looking in there, I went and looked at that shift boot a minute ago, and it's pretty thin compared to this stuff. So hopefully I just wear it real hard, and uh, it turns out pretty well. Uh, yep. 
So it's not perfect. Uh, it's leather is pretty difficult to work with, but it uh, I think will work out okay. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna either pop rivet or I'm gonna try maybe using some of these brass rivets that I got and see how it looks uh, when I put them on there to actually hold the boot into place. But overall, I'm content with it. Definitely not my finest work. 